Hello, it's Sarah. And look what I did. This is, and I guess this green might not be the best color to show it, but it is a book cover and it is quilted. It is basically just a composition book cover. And I did this following the tutorial and look, I can see where stitches, I missed some stitches there. I am a very beginner sewer, and so um, I found this tutorial, and her name is Erica Arndt, A-R-N-D-T, Arndt, Arndt, Quilt As You Go book cover. So basically, you put your batting and your back fabric, so this is just like a white fabric that I did and I used the same fabric for the little pockets. So you have that batting and then you take strips of fabric and just kind of quilt. You just go sew down, go up, down, up, down, up, down, all the way across. And I mean, there's a million different things you could do with this, I think, you know. Um, I got this fabric at Joann's. They sell it in packs of already cut two and a half inch strips. Um, and so they have different color schemes and all that and um, so this is just the one I picked and I picked a blue pack too. I had a blue pack from before and what I liked about it was I did a binding. Look at this. So this is a very simple binding but she did miter the corners and I mean I think I learned a lot and did pretty good for it being a beginner um, piece. So I'm very happy with it, and I thought it was going to be a little bit small, but it actually worked out okay. Um, you can do this for any size book. She teaches you how to measure, and um, so this is a, oops, my son's home. So you just have to kind of shimmy it in there. Oh, it actually it fits really well. I think my Bible was tighter. I'll show you that in a minute. But you just put the um, cover in there. So if you had a hardback book, it might not work as well. But these composition books work great. And look how cute it is. I just think it's adorable. Um, she actually put an elastic here too and had a button so you could seal it. Um, but I just you didn't I didn't need to do that and I think it's it lays perfectly great and even if you open it like it's awesome I'm so happy with it and the first one I totally screwed up because I started stitching my strips on the backing like I did it I didn't s stitch them to the batting side so I I did I got like all the way down and then I had to scrap that um, and then this is my Bible cover, and again, this is my beat up Bible. Um, and you can see the mistakes on this a lot clearer than on the other one. But like where I went out of the lines on my binding, I went a little woo, but instead of keeping it right there, um, here's where I started and stopped my binding. So this probably should be on the back, actually. That's what I should do. But see, I made that the front because this kind of goes down, like sideways. But this was just some blue, oops, blue fabrics. And um, this is my old, old, old King James Bible. Um, and it's really toe up, but see, look, the, the cover actually comes off the Bible. But it looks nice now, right? Isn't that cute? So thank you, Arlene. I mean, I'm sorry, Erica Art. And I will connect you guys to her tutorial in case you want to give this a shot if you're a sewer. Um, I've just been enjoying having the sewing machine out and I thought, ooh, I happened to come across that and, you know, thought I'd give it a shot. So, um, I did. And I mean, I, I was thinking about putting a handle on here like I had for my, um, the Bible cover that I made with the uh, canvas. But you don't need a handle. It's it, you, it's really, oh my God, it's so cute. I like these a lot. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna make another one. I have some like brown fabric that goes along with this. There's like two or three other strips that, went on, that were in this pack that I think I'm gonna use them. 
to create another one. It's so cute. And I need more practice. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.